Hey folks, welcome back to another episode where we dive into the lighter side of politics. Ever wondered what happens when two political titans trade jokes instead of jabs? Well, you're in for a treat. Let me take you to a night of humor and generosity, where Donald Trump and Kamala Harris left their political gloves at home and donned their comedy hats instead. It was a night to remember. Picture this, a swanky hotel in Washington, D.C., packed with politicians, celebrities, and philanthropists. The atmosphere was electric, filled with anticipation and excitement. The occasion? A charity event that raised a mountain of cash for good causes. It was a night where everyone came together for a noble cause, and the spirit of giving was palpable. And at the center of it all, Trump and Harris, armed with punchlines and ready to roast. First up, Donald Trump. The crowd was buzzing with anticipation. Now love him or hate him, you gotta admit, the man's got a knack for comedy. His timing and delivery were spot on and he had the audience in stitches. He kicked things off with a zinger about Kamala's infamous laugh. Kamala is so good at her job, he said, she can even make the economy laugh. The room erupted in laughter, and even Harris cracked a smile. It was a great start to the evening, but Trump didn't stop there. He took a playful swipe at President Biden, saying, I have to say, Joe's doing a great job. He's created so many jobs, Kamala's thinking about getting a second one. The audience? A mix of gasps and laughter. It was clear that Trump knew how to work the room. Then it was Kamala's turn, and boy did she deliver. With her characteristic charm and wit, she took the stage and had everyone's attention. With a grin, she jabbed at Trump's love for social media, saying, Donald is so obsessed with Twitter, he probably thinks her tweets are what you do with bad food. The audience burst into laughter, and even Trump chuckled at that one. But Harris wasn't done yet. She had more in store for the audience, but Harris saved the best for last. She playfully tackled Trump's 2020 election claims, quipping, Donald keeps saying he won the election. I'm starting to think he might be right. He won the election for most tweets in a day. The crowd erupted in cheers and applause. It was a moment of pure joy and camaraderie. And there you have it, folks. A night where politics took a back seat and laughter took center stage. It was a refreshing change of pace. Trump and Harris showing us that even in a divided world, humor can bring us together. It was a reminder that we can find common ground through laughter. Who knew politics could be this funny? It was a night to remember. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more hilarious content. Catch you next time.